All right, go ahead. Well, you know, Coach Brown and I, you know, three of the best years of my life was at the University of Texas and coaching there for him and working for him. Uh, and he and I have stayed in touch. He's going to call our game Saturday. But, you know, he took over at Tulane. He took over at North Carolina. took over at Texas and, and uh, built every one of those programs to great success. Uh, and uh, that was kind of his message was, was about coming into a new situation, adapting to a new staff, and some, some of the things that he went through. But did a fantastic job, as he always does with, with any team. Is Lorenzo available Saturday? No, no, he's not. You know, we've tried, and he, he, he has come out and thrown mm -hmm. a good bit in, um, in, uh, in some pre-practice stuff, uh, but, but he has not been cleared to, to run around. I mean, he's moving around pretty good on it. He's throwing the ball well, just uh, as far as the contact and stuff. The quarterbacks won't be live Saturday, so, but, but, but regardless, we're not going to put him out there. Will, do you have a set one versus two quarterbacks? How are you guys going to run? We're just going to roll, roll offense versus defense. Good on good. Roll guys in. A great evaluation for us. Uh, and uh, really, really looking forward to it. Uh, I know that Mike ain't not going to say anything specifically, but maybe there'll be a new phase for quarterback competition this fall. How do you see that? Maybe. Well, happening? I've said before we're, that decision will be made in the fall, and uh, I, you know, the unfortunate situation with Perry Orth and the unfortunate situation with Lorenzo Nunez is the reason for that as much as anything. What's that? Well, just a little change up. We have not practiced inside all spring, and so uh, I like to practice things. And we're going to do this in August, so I'd like to have been in here with our team before uh, we start uh, in in uh, fall camp. So I like to prepare, and I'm a little bit weird about stuff like that, I guess. What were some of the things that Coach Brown shared with you guys? Just you know, just really about from a standpoint of. You know, taking over at Tulane, North Carolina, and Texas, and going through that change and understanding what players go through and what coaches go through, and uh, just as always, a wonderful message. Is Saturday going to be a big deal for you? Absolutely. I mean, it's the first impression of our football team in front of our fans in our stadium, and uh, it's. I, I think it's anytime you step between the white lines, it's really, really important. Everybody's started asking me Monday, "Are you really excited about Saturday?" No, I really was excited about Tuesday, and I was really jacked up about Wednesday. And I thought Thursday was a really a phenomenal day. And once it's over with, because I got my radio show and I can't wait for that. And then and then and then we have Friday we have meetings and it's gonna be awesome. And I am gonna be really excited Saturday morning when I get out of bed. There's not a day that I get out of bed I'm not excited about work, about coming to South Carolina and being a gamecock. I can assure you of that. And I mean that sincerely, I really do. I'm jacked about it. Will and but where Friday becomes before Saturday. Any chance you get out there for the flag football game? Maybe throw it Absolutely. No, I will not do anything uh, physically, uh, but uh, but I certainly will watch. And I'm really excited. About 124 guys are registered. Starts at 11 o'clock. It's going to be a lot of fun. We kick off at noon, and uh, really excited about it. Excited about Friday before Saturday, though. What does that say to you that so many of them decided to come back for that? Well, I think it's great. I mean, again, I, I want to embrace that, and, and I think it's important for them to be a part of the program. You know, a lot of what we've benefited from is what they've created. And, um, and I appreciate their interest in coming back, and it's going to be great for our players, too. All right. I think uh, DJ's made tremendous sides. I mean, right now, I mean, he's, he's really, you know, done a nice job at the right tackle position. He and Blake Camper are battling out there and have a lot of confidence in DJ. Donnell Stanley, if we were naming a most improved offensive lineman, might be him just from a standpoint of his movement skills and how much he's improved. But, you know, we've really worked those guys extremely hard up front. I mean, it's been, it's been an exceptional day every day, you know, for those guys. But that's been good. You know, we needed that. All righty, thank you.